Yes, siempre, always. Okay. So look how fragile these look. Oh my God. So you you know. Sorry about that. See, so you know you're holding a, a cervical or neck vertebra when they're small, because you know this just would not work to have that down here, right? So how do you tell them apart? If they have a big articular surface that's flat, then you know that's going to uh, hold up the skull, just like Atlas holds up the world. Atlas bone holds up the skull. So there you have the atlas. So the atlas lets you say, yes, I like you. But the dens of the axis, this is the axis, it has this huge dens. The axis says, lets you say, no, I don't like you. Okay. So um, this side to side movement. The dens is kind of dangerous because, see how it sticks out? If you get a collision, the dens is going to uh, perforate, penetrate the um, medulla oblongata. All right, and then here's another uh, cervical. It has a little bifid head, a spinous process. So these are the three. Well, we have more than three, but these are three examples of cervicals. For your drawing, just draw these two: atlas, axis, and don't you don't have to label any parts because we're just going to do all the labeling on maybe one. I'm thinking the thoracic because it's so busy because we have ribs. Ribs that are going to come off of this. Yeah, yeah, really. Okay, so we have facets. We have demi facets on top that are called superior demi facets. We have demi facets in this inferior position, right? And so, so you get some articulation between. And it's not a good example, but those facets are for articulation. And then we have the notch, the inferior vertebral notch. It's a good name because it's inferior. It's a vertebral notch. This is the body, and this is the pedicle. It's, it's just this little connection between the body and the upper lamina. Okay, if you ever heard of laminectomy, as you get older, the space gets smaller, and some of this lamina is removed to give space for the spinal cord. Pretty common procedure, really. Okay, we know about the transverse process and the spinous process, which is the, the one we see and we can feel the spinous process. So that's the uh, thoracic, and finally, lower back. Now we get to something that's really substantial. It could hold the, the weight of your torso, body, pedicle, lamina. Look how short and powerful these processes are. That's it. Yeah.